Should we start with my face? <laughs> uh, I always look like this. And I look really happy all the time. I am well aware that I look just ecstatic <laughs> constantly. And I don't feel like this. I, I really don't. I feel, uh, I feel OK. I feel fine. And I look crazy happy. And uh, I, don't, I don't even buy it, really. I, 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 wake, I wake up in the morning, and I look in the mirror, and I go, that is inaccurate. Uh, I, I don't know what you want me to do. I just walk around. People go, look at that chipper fella. And I go, I'm OK. <laughs> I, uh, I feel like I look more like a comedy club logo than I do a comedian. You feel like that's true? I mean, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I could be a sign in 1953. That's the kind of, I, I could sell ice cream in the 50s. <laughs> I, can't, I can't go places. I can't just show up at a funeral. You know, I can't. <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> Just... I, uh, I can't ask a girl out, you know? What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> it's just so creepy, isn't it? I mean, I'm single, and... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying not to be single, which sounds uh, desperate, really. You shouldn't, you shouldn't say that out loud. I mean, it, it's true, but there's no woman in earshot of that statement going, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Dibs on that smiley, desperate fella over there. <laughs> but it's real. I mean, part of your single life is great. You've got all this freedom. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want, right? Maybe someone wanders into your life. Maybe not. You don't care. It's just, it's a great place to be. I'm not there anymore. Uh, I mean, freedom's amazing, but I'm not popping up alone in bed in the middle of the night going, I can do whatever I want. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not rolling around in bed going, look at the freedom. I have so much freedom. Freedom! Uh, I'm not braveharting in bed at 3 AM. Do you understand? I, I'm not watching infomercials and eating a lean cuisine because I'm living life in my terms. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're the only people I've talked to today. And, um, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not very good socially. This is all I do. I just do this and go home and think of things to tell strangers tomorrow. And, um, <laughs> I, I don't drink. I think that's part of it. It's, it's tough to be social when you don't drink because uh, you don't want me around. You know, <laughs> like some nights it's fine, but many nights I get this feeling back from the group like, we all got together, and we realized you're going to remember most of this. <laughs> so we'd like for you to go home. <laughs> now, what you don't think about is it goes both ways. Your drinking affects my life. Do you ever, nobody ever thinks about that, but it's true, because I'm a good listener, you know? <laughs> and so I listen, and I listen, and I listen. I'm fine with that, really. I'm OK with that. What I'm not OK with is the next day, when I end up alone in a park waiting for a picnic. <laughs> there is no picnic. It's just, uh, I'm just alone on a blanket with baby carrots and cheese cubes <laughs> waiting for someone with a five digit phone number to try and call. Now, you don't get that kind of detail in a joke unless you've actually lived it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much.